Hey guys, this is Mike Trolla with Click. Thanks for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. To recap, this is video four in my new AutoML series, which helps you become more familiar with AutoML in the simplest way possible. In the last video, I briefly explained what SHAP data was and how it is used to explain the why behind the predictions. This video is going to show you how to add the SHAP data to your predictions ClickSense app along with some of the ways it can be used to analyze the influence behind the predictions. Let's jump right in. Okay, before we add the data to the data model, I just wanted to show you some resulting analytics that you can create from the use of the coordinate SHAP and the prediction SHAP data. Basically, these analytics comprise of just aggregates using average of the SHAP data values, along with some of the dimensions, in this case, the feature dimension, to basically look at the influence behind the predictions. I'll go into this in more detail once we add that data. Okay, so just starting out within the prediction ClickSense app overview, I'm gonna to navigate to data manager. And you can see we have our two data sets, my prediction data set, along with my apply data set being the data that we have not run the predictions on, right? My current operational data, if you will. So here I'll click add data and I'll go to the data catalog. Now, if you recall in a previous video, when we do the deployment, we give you the option to create the SHAP data. And that data is written to your space in the form of CSV or Parquet or QVD. And you can see in this space, I have my prediction coordinate SHAP as well as the prediction SHAP. So we're going to select those two data sets and click next. And then you could inspect these data sets and you can see here are each of the features along with the unique key or identifier, the order ID. And these particular features, remember features are synonymous with the term field in your data. When you create the experiment, you're choosing the fields that you want to create the prediction for the target. In this case, it was shipped late for us. And then the prediction coordinate SHAP just basically kind of pivots that data and gives you a SHAP value along with the order ID and then a dimension column that has all of these features as names. Okay, and those two data sets are going to be used to creating analytics. So you can create an analysis on influencers that are affecting the prediction. So we're going to click load into app. And this will bring you back to the data manager where we can then associate the common identifier, in this case, the order ID. So I simply select the table, click apply click apply and now everything is linked on order ID. So now we have our prediction SHAP and our coordinate SHAP linked to our predictive data model and then our regular operational data. So now let's click load data. And some of this is click sense 101 if you will, we're just really associating tables. And then let's go to the sheet. Okay, so we're going to end the video here, and in the next video, we're going to go through creating the actual analytics. I'll see you there.